Wouldn't it be nice to have several thought leaders in your industry know and love your brand? Start a podcast. Invite your industry's thought leaders to be guests on your show. And start reaping the benefits of having a network full of industry influencers. Learn more at sweetfishmedia.com. You're listening to the B2B Growth Show, a podcast dedicated to helping B2B executives achieve explosive growth. Whether you're looking for techniques and strategies or tools and resources, you've come to the right place. I'm Jonathan Green. And I'm James Carberry. Let's get it into the show. Welcome back to the B2B Growth Show. We are here today with John Lincoln. He's the CEO of Ignite Visibility. He's also the author of Digital Influencer. John, how are you doing today? Doing great. So, John, we connected on LinkedIn a few days ago, and uh, it was after I saw the documentary that you and your team put together called SEO The Movie. Uh, and I'd seen some people talking about it, I think, a few months ago, and then I saw somebody else post it on Facebook, and so I watched it. And uh, it was just blown away. We're going to spend the rest of the interview actually talking about the documentary, kind of the strategy behind it, how you guys executed it so well, the promotion of it, you know, results you've seen so far. But before we do that, could you just give our audience a little bit of context? Tell us a little bit about what you and your team are up to at Ignite Visibility. And then also, if you could share with us a little about your book, Digital Influencer, that would be awesome as well before we get into talking about the documentary. Yeah, awesome. Uh, first, thanks so much for having me, James. It's great to, to be with you today. So, you know, as far as Ignite Visibility, we're a four and a half year old digital marketing agency. We have grown every single year. We're up to about 40 full time employees, uh, about as many contractors, maybe twice as many contractors. And, uh, you know, we're just your typical digital marketing agency, but a really strong focus on SEO and pay-per-click. We've recently been named the number one SEO company in the USA, UK, and Canada by Clutch.co. Wow. And um, we're the number one PPC company in the nation by 10 Best PPC. So we've really done a great job on that end of the business, but we've been building out other divisions just to help kind of solve the challenge that clients have with driving, um, you know, digital marketing and revenue uh, to their website. So it's been going well. We also offer email conversion rate optimization, Amazon and social media. And um, we're up to about 150 clients. We've got some great brand names like a Tony Robbins and, and, uh, and many more uh, that we just really love working with every day. Wow. So. Uh, as far as the book is concerned, that's something I wrote not too long ago, and it's been doing really well, selling a, you know, a couple thousand copies every single month, and uh, you know people really like it. And you know, I just kind of sat down and figured, like, you know, I, I've told people so much information for so many years through my UCSD class, through you know training staff here at Ignite. I really just want to teach people how do they become an influencer in any niche, and how do they become a subject matter expert, and also bring kind of just important digital marketing practices um, online. So if you have this, this great expertise, how do you bring that online? How do you use that to become an influencer and then build kind of a platform that you're driving traffic revenue and leads to your website? And, and that's exactly what we've done with Ignite Visibility. You know, now we get, you know, 40, 50,000 visitors a month and it's an agency site and that's really good traffic for an agency site. Our traffic's up 300% year over year and, and we get a lot of leads. So, you know, I just wanted to share that knowledge with other people. So uh, just a little bit of information for you on those two items. I love it. I think that it's no surprise to me that the book is performing so well as you explain the topic and, and you know, everybody wants to become an influencer and it's crazy to me how many people have the expertise to do it. They just don't know how to execute it and, and actually make it happen so that they have that influence. They've got all the knowledge in their head. They just don't know how to get it out of their head and into a digital landscape. So totally makes sense why the book is succeeding the way it is. Uh, so John, I want to spend the rest of, uh, of our time today talking about SEO. Uh, the movie, which is, you know, I think like a 40, 45 minute documentary. I found it on YouTube. I'm sure you probably got it on other channels as well, but I was blown away at kind of the concept of it as a whole. I hadn't seen anything else, you know, done that way. And I, I live and breathe in this world. I'm talking to B2B marketers every day and, and haven't seen an execution like that before. Could you talk to the folks listening to this a little bit about? SEO, the movie, and why you guys wanted to produce a documentary like that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, 
for me, I'm always looking to do something different, something exciting. You know, I've done social media marketing viral campaigns with, you know, hundreds of clients and, you know, it was just time to do something for Ignite. And, you know, I've written, you know, thousands and thousands of blog posts. So I figured, you know, can we just do something other than a blog yeah, post? You yeah, know? Yeah. So many blogs and just something different that cuts through the clutter. And uh, I had a little bit of a film background. Like when I was back at UC Santa Cruz, I took quite a few classes and it was almost my minor and I just always loved it. But, um, but yeah, so, you know, I'm sitting at home and I'm a little bit of a skateboarder, surfer, you know, aging skateboarder, surfer, basically. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was watching this thing that Rob Deirdrick did and it was a documentary and I was kind of watching the skate video documentary. I was thinking, you know, that wouldn't be too hard to put together. Um, from there I started thinking, well, nobody's ever done a movie on search engine optimization. (laughs) And it's, and that, that core service has been kind of my passion over the last 10 years, being a director at different companies and stuff. And so I know the industry inside and out, you know, from, um, all the Google updates from kind of like these behind the scenes, really interesting stories with the characters, And, uh, you know, the way that it's affected businesses and, you know, just and even in the early days, I remember when I first got into search engine optimization, it just felt like this crazy rock star industry where these affiliates were, you know, making millions of dollars by pushing, you know, a certain keywords to the top of Google. And, And I even got involved in that a little bit with a couple of affiliate sites back in the day. So, you know, people always think of SEO as this totally boring thing. And it's really not. It's really you know, you get to use your own knowledge to create this massive side structure and, and, and drive, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of visitors a month, you know, big revenue and or leads if you really have the know-how. So I just wanted to portray that and then eventually try to help people understand that it's it's no longer, it, it can be to some degree, but it's no longer that industry where, you know, it's kind of the black hat spammer stuff. You know, Google's kind of, kind of taken that element out of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've done a very good job and now it's turned into this kind of like corporate a you know, white hat thing, but still just tremendous value it drives the most traffic online out of all the marketing channels. So we did it for Ignite because, you know, with Ignite, we wanted something that would just be fun and cool and set us apart. And, you know, there were so many directions I could have gone with it. You know, I could have sold ads in it. I uh, actually had an opportunity to get it on Netflix, which, you know, wow. would have been cool. But just decided that, you know, let's just put it out there. Let's just make it the ultimate content marketing piece. Let's just drive, you know, get a whole bunch of links from doing it. Let's offer it for free and do it for brand exposure and then tell a great story at the same time. I love it. I love it. I think your point earlier when you said, you know, I'd I'd written thousands of blog posts. I just, I didn't want to do another blog post. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I find myself resonating with that a lot, just trying to think through, you know, what are some creative things that we can do? And and it's funny because as marketers, we're supposed to be the creative ones, but we so often get caught in the trap of just doing, executing the same type of campaigns over and over and over again. Uh, John, are there, are there certain things that you're doing? You mentioned that the idea for this came from, you know, watching a Rob Deerdick documentary. I think there's incredible value in it, particularly when it comes to creativity in our campaigns, when we're consuming other things, like when we're doing things, not reading, you know, when we're not reading a Rand Frischkin blog or when we're not, you know, yes. going to the content marketing world conference, are there other, you know, what would you say to the marketer that is maybe, you know, in a bit of a creative rut? What are some things that help you stay creative? Yeah, that's a really good question. I love this stuff. So I'm thinking about it all the time. I'm sure just much like you are. But I mean, I I think you hit on a really good point. So think outside the industry, right? And if you look at, you know, the people who are really, what people are doing right now, it's kind of, kind of silly, but working so well for them is, you know, they're creating reality TV shows about themselves. Right. And um, that's kind of like the next level of the influencer marketing. But that came from entertainment. Right. Yeah. And so there's people marketers are great at, at doing, you know, hitting these core channels and, you know, whether that be referring side traffic, you know, organic, I won't go through all of them. But if you look at the entertainment space, right, if you look at like rap videos or music videos or just, um, you know, these general, you know, a documentary, there's so many different types of mediums out there that have been successful. Yeah. You know, one person that I look at a lot is um, Red Bull. And I don't think a lot of people realize this, but 
they spend millions and millions of dollars on their content marketing, but people don't even know it's content marketing because it just feels like entertainment. And then before you know it, you're going to buy a Red Bull, even though it's probably the worst thing for you ever. <laughs> so uh, so I, yeah. for me, it's just, you know, if you look at entertainment and then you try to look at it by vertical and then, you know, that, that can help you quite a bit. But I would say across the board for, I think that one of the first times in, our, in, the, in the landscape it's becoming really, really difficult because brands are competing with entertainment. Entertainment is competing with brands. Everybody's got some money. And, you know, so it's um, how do you do something that's unique and different? And that creativity, you know, is really hard to find. So that's why people hire agencies and, and stuff like yeah. that. And, and and I just think, John, the, the instant I watched the documentary, because it was so well done, and, you know, I think you talk about Think Visibility very briefly, just saying, hey, I'm the CEO of, you know, Ignite Visibility, but at the very beginning, but it, it wasn't an homage to your company. It wasn't, you just had this really creative asset and, and you interviewed, you know, Rand Fishkin and a bunch of other rock stars in the SEO world. And I think so, I think marketers get so consumed with how am I going to generate leads out of this? And they're so consumed with getting that direct end result where you guys came at it from a brand awareness and from the views that it got on YouTube, it seems like you guys have absolutely gotten that. Can you talk to us a little bit about the execution of the movie, how you guys created it, and then what the promotion of it looked like so that you guys could get the results and the brand awareness that you wanted to get? Yeah. So it started off, I reached out to Barry Schwartz and I'm like, Barry, I've got this idea for a movie. What do you think? He's like, you know, I was going to write a book. Let's make a movie instead. So I got him on board and then I knew we needed Danny Sullivan next because if we didn't have him, we really couldn't, couldn't make the film. So we reached out to Danny, you know, he was super welcoming and nice. And, um, and, and I actually like, you know, a lot of respect for that guy. You know, I mean, I, I've written for search engine land for, for maybe seven years or five or six years now. So we kind of knew each other, but not well. And, um, you know, so he took a chance. So, you know, next thing I know, we're up in a hotel room inside of, you know, LA and, and I'm interviewing Danny and, um, you know, we have a great conversation that's done. Um, but now we've got to interview all these other people that we've all kind of determined should be in the film. So, you know, called some local videographers, set up the shoot, got them out there, did a lot of the interviews virtually. And then I actually flew up to see Rand. So m- mostly like selfishly, I just wanted to walk around Moz and check it out, <laughs> talk, talk to Rand. So that was really fun. And, um, you know, and actually met a client up there too, one of our bigger clients while I was on that trip. So, so did all that and then kind of got all the footage and, you know, had it saved in Google drive and then got, you know, a really good video editor, um, who I found who specialized in documentaries and a lot of credit to him because the editing was really, really key for that film. So he, he really rocked it. And I worked with him, you know, up until literally 10 minutes before we released it, uh, making edits, which is not what I wanted to do. Mm. You know, at one point we actually had a little bit more on me in there and I was like, you know what, let's just cut it out. I want it to be more about the story. I don't want people to feel like this is a, this is a commercial for Ignite Visibility. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll get enough exposure just by making it. So that was that. And then, The execution um, was something that I thought so much about. So, I mean, basically the pre-launch was really important. Mm. So, you know, we did a press release and I had pop-ups firing on the website. You know, we get, you know, quite a bit of traffic. So a lot of people saw it that way. Um, We reached out to every single SEO company through outreach and all the influencers and asked them to promote. And that really got a big buzz going. And people on Reddit were like pissed. They're like, you know, why would this guy make a movie about SEO, you know, and like, this is going to suck and I'm never going to watch this. And this thread just keeps getting longer and longer and longer. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like people are going to rip this apart, you know? And then, um, so that was funny. And then we, uh, and then Black Hat World kind of liked it actually. They thought it was cool. And then, then these discussion forums, just this buzz was building and building and building. Um, the day of, you know, I had done some work behind the scenes to do kind of media partnership stuff um, where basically I allowed exclusive rights for Search Engine Land to publish the story mm. just to make sure it got a big buzz. And um, so they published the story. Um, we pushed it live, ran a ton of ads like all across um, the net to get some exposure. Okay. And it had a great buzz. So, you know, we had maybe like um, – I don't know, like that, 
that week, you know, there was maybe 10 to 20,000 visitors who hit that landing page. And then, um, you know, I didn't, didn't really want to like fire, you know, email captures and stuff like that. I want to just let people watch the movie, but we did get like five or 600 links from it. People linking to us, a ton of brand exposure and it just keeps happening. So now it's, it's been really cool is like every conversation that's been coming out on, learning SEO or stuff like that. Um, people are mentioning the movie and, um, you know, we, we also are doing a little bit of remarketing to people who hit that page, but it's actually not perfect because not everybody's really interested in the service and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if we'll continue that, but that's pretty much the gist of it right there. I love it. I love that you have the emphasis that you put on the pre-launch and I'm in the middle of writing my first book right now. And I'm hearing a lot of people talk about that as they're, you know, just telling me, Hey man, like the work of your book launch is so it happens so much ahead of the launch that you wouldn't, that you'd be surprised. And, and I would imagine it's, it's very similar in this. And so you structuring those partnerships, you know, well before you were going to launch this, I think that's something that people don't think about until, you know, they're a week out and they're like, okay, we, we've got to get this thing out into the world. But you, you and your team seemingly did your homework. You obviously know all the players in the space. I think it was really smart too, the way you, you mentioned obviously the, the influencers that you interviewed in the documentary, but then you also mentioned companies, specific companies that have kind of pushed the industry forward as well. And so it makes sense that those companies would be very incentivized to share the movie because they're in it. And so can you talk to us a bit about the influencer marketing element of, of the documentary and how you guys were thinking about that through the production of it? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a total influencer play for, from a content marketing standpoint, right? And so, like, you know, I used to, before, years ago, I was a director of online communications at a business magazine. Back then, that's that's when I really saw the value of interviewing people. It gives you a chance to get in front of them. Um, exactly. You know, for this, I would have put them in there no matter what, one way or the other, but there was for sure value with distribution. So, you know, I, you know, by creating those lists, not only did we add value to the film for people who actually have worked incredibly hard in the industry. And I mean, some of these like SEM Rush and, you know, there and, and Moz, I mean, for sure, major thought leaders, more than just individual people, the companies, but, but by doing that, and then by making these lists, that was huge because, what happened is, is um, we tagged every single person on Facebook. We tagged every single person on LinkedIn. You know, we tagged every single person on Twitter. We reached out to all of them. Um, we asked them to help promote it. You know, they are forever, you know, listed in the movie, the definitive movie um, at the moment on SEO. So it's great for, for them and their careers. But And then also, you know, it, it opens up pipelines, right? So in any business, you want to have um, pipelines and you know, I, I would love to, you know, down the road, have a close relationship with a lot of these software providers. Many of them we do right now. So in any type of influencer type of campaign, you know, you always want to think about who do you want to influence and why and, and tie it all around a business goal. And for us, you know, it was, you know, driving traffic, brand awareness, opening up some channels and some abilities for conversations. But what was nice about this one is it wasn't, none of it was forced, you know, it was like all of it kind of had to fit in the film anyways. Um, so those are the best ones. It's, you know, some of them where you just see these lists and it's like 1,000 of the top digital marketing experts are <laughs> like, I don't care that I'm the 897. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't even want to share that stuff. I'm sure you don't either. I yeah. mean, but, you know, if it's top 20 or something. So anyways, that's the background there. No, no, that it makes perfect sense. I think it was brilliantly executed, obviously a, a brilliant idea. And I wanted to bring you on the show. So the marketers listening to this would really be challenged to get more creative in their marketing. I love the suggestions you gave about looking at brands like Red Bull and kind of getting out of the industry to see, you know, what's working in entertainment, what, what is entertaining humans. And if we can capture that and we can figure out how to do that well, uh, then the people that we're trying to sell to are humans. And so why, uh, you know, why not reach them by giving them content that they actually want to consume in your movie was exactly that for me. It was an SEO, something that has always been, you know, kind of a foreign concept to me. And I feel like I got a formal education in it after watching a 40 minute documentary. So if you're listening to this and you have not already seen it, I guess the, I mean, 
is it just finding it on YouTube, John, or is there another, is there a landing page that they can go to? Yeah, you can just go to the Ignite Visibility YouTube channel or just go into YouTube and search for SEO the movie, but it's um, it's on our YouTube channel, so uh, that's that's the best place to watch it. Also, it's at ignitevisibility.com forward slash SEO dash movie as well. Wonderful. Awesome, John. Well, if there's somebody uh, listening to this and they want to either – connect with you or learn more about Ignite Visibility. You know, obviously, they can go to ignitevisibility.com. How can they stay connected with you? Yeah, thanks. So I'm um, pretty easy to find on the web. If you just Google my name, I'm on uh, you know the Ignite Visibility YouTube. I make videos there doing internet marketing training. Um, Twitter, Johnny Lincoln. Instagram, John Lincoln Marketing. And then um, you know uh, other various channels on LinkedIn as well. But I uh, look forward to connecting with anybody online. Wonderful. Awesome, John. Well, thank you so much for your time. Awesome. Thanks, James. Have a great day. To ensure that you never miss an episode of the B2B Growth Show, subscribe to the show on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. This guarantees that every episode will get delivered directly to your device. If you or someone you know would be an incredible guest for the B2B Growth Show, email me at jonathan at sweetfishmedia.com and let us know. We love connecting with B2B executives, and we love sharing their wisdom and perspective with our audience. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time.